Sir Ross. Here. White. Here. Taylor. Taylor. Robinson. Here. Baxter. Here. Harris. Here. Ken. Here. And Hype. Present. A quorum is present. Thank you very much. Uh, Council Member Baxter is going to lead us in prayer. Steve? Let's pray. Dear Holy Father, Lord, we're just so thankful for this day, Lord. We just ask that you give our heart pause to be sure that we give you thanks for everything that we have, Lord. We just ask a special blessing upon our citizens and our employees, Lord, as we go through this pandemic. We do know that there are several of our employees who are in poor health in the hospital, Lord. We just ask for your healing hands around them. We pray, Lord, that we can conduct a meeting tonight that would be pleasing in your eyes, and the decision we make would be pleasing not only to you, but to the citizens of North Little Rock. And forgive us where we fail you. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, how about a motion to approve the minutes of the last yeah. meeting? So moved. Second. Second. On the motion. Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. In? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. Thank you very much. How about uh, communications? I'm showing three. Anybody want to pull one? Not? How about a motion to accept one, two, and three? So okay. moved. Motion and second. Thank you. Thank you. On the motion. Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ken? Yes. And Hype? Yes. What is that? Someone's Sounds like a cat. Is one of y'all meowing? Okay. Is that you, Charlie? <laughs> All right, uh, let's go in the special call, R2168. Hey, let me read the special call notice first. Sure. Um, honorable members of the North Rock City Council, and this is an email I received from City Attorney Fields on November 20th, which was Friday. The purpose of this email is to advise you that Mayor Smith has called a special meeting of the North Little Rock City Council at 6.05 p.m. on Monday, November 23, 2020, at City Hall Council Chambers, North Little Rock, Arkansas. The following will be on the agenda. R-2168, authorizing the Mayor and City Clerk to enter into a contract for additional work for the 15 Remount Road right-of-way drainage improvements project, authorizing payment to JCon Inc., sponsor Council Member Charlie Hyde. O-2109, authorizing the Mayor to execute release to terminate easements and escrow agreement, vacating and abandoning certain sewer easements on property located at Highway 70 and Barton Road in the city of North Little Rock upon the completion of relocation of the sewer facilities, sponsor Mayor Joe A. Smith. O-20-110, vacating and abandoning certain unused easements on property located at 410 West A Avenue in the city of North Little Rock, sponsor council member Debbie Ross. This is pursuant to North Little Rock ordinance number 9079 and notice was sent and received from all council members. Thank you very much. Um, let's and, go to the first one. Okay, R-20-168, a resolution authorizing the mayor and city clerk to enter into a contract for additional work for the Remount Road right-of-way drainage improvements project authorizing payment to JCon Inc. Well, uh, please call it move for adoption. How about a second? Second. Any questions, comments on the motion? Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Harris? Yes. Ken? Yes. And Height? Yes. 020109, Mayor Smith? Uh, please call it. An ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute release to terminate easements and escrow agreement, vacating and abandoning certain sewer easements on property located at Highway 70 and Barton Road in the city of North Little Rock upon the completion of relocation of the sewer facilities. First reading. Moves been the readings. Again. A motion and a second. Spend all readings on the motion. 
Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Finn? Yes. And Hype? Can't hear you, Hype. Yes. Thank you. How about a motion? I move. Second. We've got a motion and a second. I do have two people online on this legislation. They are both for questions. Scott Abbott, glad you're here online. Thomas Pownell, I think this is going to go right through without any questions. So on the motion. On the motion to adopt, Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. On the emergency, Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. 02110, Councilmember Ross. Please call it. An ordinance vacating and abandoning certain unused easements on property located at 410 West A Avenue, the City of North Little Rock. First reading. It's been the readings. Second. Got a motion and a second. Spend all readings on the motion. Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. Okay, Mr. Crawford is, is online as the applicant. Uh, I don't think we've got any questions for you right now, so thank you for being online. Uh, how about a motion to adopt? Motion to adopt. Second. A motion and a second. On the motion. On the motion to adopt, Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. On the emergency, Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. Thank you very much. Um, Ember, you want to come up and give us a quick uh, monthly summary of our financials? Okay, this tonight we have our October 31st, 2020 financial statements. Um, as always, keep in mind that revenues are on the cash basis. Sales tax and property tax run two months in arrears. So that's why they look off skewed compared to the budget. For the general fund, on page one, you can see total revenue of approximately $51.6 million compared to total expenses of approximately $57.9 million. What I want to point out on the general fund is this is 83% of the budget, October is. All of the departments but one are under budget. Um, I expect that one to be taken care of. What I wanted to point out is if you look at the fire department, their number has gone down quite a bit. They're 63% compared to budget. Um, that's because if you turn over to page 10, the grant fund, we got their expenses reclassified from the general fund to the grant fund for the coronavirus relief grant. We've gotten um, some of the FEMA expenses moved over that we've received for public works and some of the other departments. So that's why you see a drop in some of the departments compared to last month, but mainly the fire department. While you're turned over to page 10, I want to point out on this grant fund, we've received approximately 3,275,000 in grant funds as of October 31st. Um, FEMA, year to date now on the flood, we've received 1,475,000. That's not all reflected in this report because 859,000 of that we received in November. So you'll see this revenue go up next month. 
wanted to point that out. Now, if we go back to page two, I just wanted to give um, a quick highlight. Nothing's really changed revenue-wise for street parks or the IT department. Their revenues are still coming in as expected. We have had the, the drop in some of the charges for services as we've talked about in prior months due to COVID. Um, the traffic department is at 73% of their expenses. The street is at 79%, park 70%, and IT is right at the 83%. The other thing I wanted to point out on page seven is the special projects fund, and then also on page 11 with community development. Those two look like that they have negative fund balance, which they do as of October, but that will get cleared up before the end of the year. That's just how those were sitting right now on the cash basis. The last thing I wanted to point out is on page 16 with our Justice Center bond. At the end of October, we've spent approximately 58% of that bond. Thank you very much. Any questions? Seeing none, let's go right on to uh, unfinished business. R-20-158, Mayor Smith. Going to withdraw that. Okay. That property's been sold, and uh, we've had really good luck with uh, uh, the gentleman and his remodel on 20th and Pike, so I'm going to withdraw that, and uh, Code will work with him on the new new redo. Okay. O-20-99, Mayor Smith. Please call it. An ordinance amending North Little Rock Municipal Code Chapter 13, Solid Waste Ordinance Number 8585, as amended by Ordinance Number 9073 and 9223. Second reading. Let's get it to the third reading, and then we'll offer some amendments. Give me a motion. So move. Second. Motion. So move. Motion and a second on the motion. Ross. Yes. White. Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ken? Yes. And Height? Yes. An ordinance amending North Little Rock Municipal Code Chapter 13, Solid Waste Ordinance 8585, as amended by Ordinance Number 9073 and 9223, third and final reading. Thank you very much. Uh, we have two amendments, Ms. Ross? Mm -hmm. Up to and Miss Amy's going to okay. read those to you. Thank you. There. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, section um, one point three point two. Um, starts the sanitation director add the words or his designee and then in section 2.3.3 securing of household appliances set out for collection um, delete the phrase or store or keep a household appliance in an open accessible area i.e. porch patio etc and um, a few lines down again delete the words or keeps household appliances in open accessible areas. Um, Council Member Ross asked, um, you know, on the first one to add his design or his designee because the sanitation director is not going to himself inspect premises and write citations and that was just overlooked in the revisions to the um, chapter in the um, second amendment. Um, those items are already covered under our outdoor storage ordinance. Thank you very much. We've got that motion by Ms. Ross to make those amendments. How about a second? Second. Second. A motion and a second. Any questions on the motion to amend? Um, Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. In? Yes. In height? Yes. How about a motion? Adopt as amended. So moved. Baxter Scott is no. Got questions, Mr. Baxter? Mayor, you know, the the way the ordinance currently is written, it's very easy for our citizens to remember 
the 612 rule as far as it, can, it refers to brush. If it's bigger than 12 inches, it can't be six feet long. If it's uh, uh, six inches or less, it can be 12 feet long. But we've changed that in this new version, if you will, so it makes it a little bit harder for the average citizen to remember. I, I agree that this is gonna be a work in progress. Um, you know, the average citizen is not the violators that we're trying to um, uh, draw this legislation for. It's the uh, landlords, slumlords that are taking people completely, all their traffic, I mean, all their furniture out and throwing it on the front. Uh, that's what we're trying to avoid here. Chief's got a few comments. That particular change was made at the request of the sanitation department. They said that the 12-foot links was damaging some of their equipment. So, you know, it's a pleasure of the council, but that's the reason that change was made. It was a sanitation director's request. Okay. It, we're going to fight this for a little while, Steve, but I think we, we it's a it's a good start. Okay. Mr. Height. I, this, I, and I agree with Mayor, there's some more tweaking we need, need to do to this. We've got people that are putting all kinds of stuff in these bagsters in their front yard, and and they just sit there and sit there and sit there for, for weeks and weeks and weeks and sanitation won't pick them up and and waste management or BMI don't they don't pick them up either and they don't contact them and what people can do though is they could pile that stuff up out on their curve and the sanitation department would pick it up but, but so we got to figure out how to we got to educate people about putting them in that Baxter and then we got to educate people about what they can put on the curb and what they can't put on the curb so we need to work on this going forward i think so yeah it's a good start it's a good start miss ross back to the bagsters i think a lot of people they don't realize when they pick those up at home depot lowe's wherever that there's a if they read the fine print that bag is the property of waste management and they have to pay the right. fee for the waste management to come pick it up and therefore and this is what i've always been told is that sanitation can't pick it up because that's waste management's property. So, you know, it's kind of a catch-22 there, but that's that's an education process and read the fine prints, what people have to do. Right. That's, yeah, that's exactly, exactly. We need to work on that, uh, uh, Councilwoman uh, uh, Ross, uh, going forward. I think, uh, I think we have an opportunity here to do some education. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Hyde. Uh, any other questions, comments? Do we have a motion, Ms. Whitby? Uh, Taylor made the motion to adopt, but I did not catch who seconded. About a second. Second. Got a motion and a second on the motion. Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Wait a minute. Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ben? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. On the emergency, Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ben? Yes. And Height? Yes. 020-103, Councilmember Height? Please call. An ordinance granting a conditional use to allow a car wash in a C3 zone for property located at 4315 McCain Boulevard. This is the second reading. Uh, move to suspend all readings. How about a second? second. Motion and second. Suspend all readings on the motion. Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ben? Yes. And Hype? Yes. Move for adoption. We got a second. I'm going to stop right there. We've got quite a few people called in. I'm trying to um, go through these and see which ones are for and which ones are against. Um, I'm not sure about this one. So, why don't we just go to uh, uh, Mr. Hervey, Demond Hervey from Sherwood? Yes. Sher are you the one that spoke last two yes. weeks ago? Yes. Do you have anything to add? Yes, to sir. That? Yes, sir. Do you have anything to add yes. to that? Yes, I do. Go ahead. Yes, sir, I do. 
All right, so after our last meeting, November the 9th, I took the liberty to extend my research and discussions with the City of Nola Rock Police Department and Traffic Division. There I had the privilege of speaking with the Chief, uh, police, uh, Chief of Police, Rostin, along with the dedicated sergeant within the Police Traffic Division. We discussed the, ye the double yellow line debate, whether it was legal or illegal to make a hard left turn across a dedicated left turn lane for oncoming traffic heading westbound on McCain as well as crossing a double line to enter the property. In this discussion, it was brought to my attention that the drivers attempting to make this hard left turn lane across traffic on McCain will essentially be crossing or changing two lanes. And with the natural traffic flow of McCain from west to east, having a business like a car wash on the left-hand side of McCain would interrupt the smoothness and flow of the traffic. Having the easement to this property being 400, 300 yards uh, from the intersection of Smoky Lane will essentially cause a stacking of traffic that will easily back up into the intersection of Smoky Lane, which breeds a red zone for car accident. The onus of, the onus of a car wash being approved by council members should not fall back on the city of Nola Rock Police Department. The baby said a new business development. I understand that the city of North Little Rock would like to welcome all new businesses. However, when a new business has to apply for a conditional use permit, council members have broad discretion to vote on these three factors. Promoting the health, safety of the general welfare of the community. And with, 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 we and the, with me and the chief of police Rossin had discussed is that, you know, we understand that uh, city, the city engineers and also the city planning have done their due diligence to make sure that this development, the site of development, makes a, meets the requirements of the ordinance and all the variances. However, you know, after the development is approved and 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 and, and having, uh, I don't know what their what analysis or data they use to to determine the traffic flow on and off their property, all that goes back, falls back on the city police department. And I know if the chief is on, uh, if he's on, if he's at this meeting, he's on, if he's online at this meeting, I would love for him to share some of the conversation that we had about it and, uh, and how it can affect the safety and welfare of the community. And, and, and I don't think that we should be an allowing the, the, the city, the patrons of this car wash, could have to make decisions that could that that could in, interrupt easily interrupt the flow of traffic in the community of East McCain. Okay, thank you very much. Um, there's another one here I don't recognize. Uh, Vernon Williams, are you? Maurice has a question for Mr. Hervey. I think. Say that again, Maurice, Maurice Mr. Taylor. Question. Have you got a question? Well, I. I don't have a question for Mr. Hervey, but I guess my question would be, then if that's the case, then no business could go there because uh, whether you put a car wash or a McDonald's or a Chucky Pratt or whatever business you put in there, they got to cross the double, double yellow line to get there, if that's the case. And wouldn't that, isn't that correct? Yes, sir. Ab 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 absolutely. Absolutely. And, 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 my, and my answer to that is I just think that that location in particular and you know it, it, in, in restaurants in eateries of that case you can kind of the, the traffic because you know a person can choose between chicken or beef or pork or whatever you know whatever they they, they choose and there's a lot of varieties on that on that on that on that on on mccain but when you're talking about a car wash and you're talking about and i've been doing this for five years you're talking about a car wash you're talking about that close to the intersection like to say that there's going to be there's a cross through easement already to a property. There's no direction. There's no fun. Someone is going to have to be there to 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 mitigate how that traffic flows. And if it, and if it's not the owners and if the city is saying, "Hey, we we see it, we're good with it," it, it goes right back to the police department. And this is going to be an issue. At this is going to be a traffic a logistic nightmare. Okay. That's the best way to put it. Thank you very much. I, I don't want to get into a question and answer here. This is a comment section, so let me cut you short there a little bit. Uh, Vernon Williams, are you for or against this legislation? 
Mr. Williams. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm the engineer um, that's working with the developer and the designer of this, so I'm obviously for the project. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to let you stand down in case we have any questions. And uh, okay. uh, Mr. McBee and your partner, I'm going to hold y'all uh, to see where we go with this thing. Um, where are we, Ms. Whitby? We've done the third ring. Yeah. Uh, so we have a, Mr. Hyde, did you make a motion to adopt? And then second. Do I have a second? Yeah. Miss, I, somebody give me a second. Miss Ken, um, are you giving me a second? Yes? No. Can I have a question? Yeah, let me get a second. 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 Somebody give me a second. Second. I got it. Go. Can we uh, ask our, our engineer to come tell us whether or not that is illegal to cross there? Well, we certainly answered that in his I email to you. Did it, you get but, it? Uh, Mr. Harley didn't sound like he was convinced of it. Go ahead, Chris. In the state of Arkansas, it's legal to cross a double yellow. Turning lane. Turning yeah. lane with two, two lanes. Thank you. It's not that way in all states, but it is in Arkansas. Thank you very much. I got a motion and a second. Any more discussion on this? On the motion. Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Uh, yes. Ben? Yes. And Hype? Yes. On the emergency, I Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ken? Yes. And Hype? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go into the consent agenda. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Anybody want to pull any of those? Hearing none, how about a motion to accept the consent agenda? Move. Got a motion and Mr. Baxter gave me a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same aye. sign. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Okay. R20167, Mayor Smith. Please call it. I'm getting there. A resolution approving and certifying amounts of liens to be filed with the Flasky County Tax Collector against certain real properties in the city of North Little Rock as a result of grass cutting expenses and abatement of other nuisances. Thank you very much. How about a motion? So moved. Second. Call a public hearing. Anyone here or online to speak on these uh, grass cutting expenses and abatements of other nuisances? Seeing none here or online, close the public hearing on the motion. Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ben? Yes. And Height? Yes. Okay. Ordinances 020105, Mayor Smith. Please call it. An ordinance approving salary increases for the city clerk treasurer and the city attorney of the city of North Little Rock. First reading. It's been the been the reading. Second. Second. Motion and a second. Spend all readings on the motion. Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ken? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. How about a motion to adopt? I move. Second. Got a motion and a second. Y'all, I spent uh, eight years trying to get all of our employees uh, in the market on what we paid them and um, never did look uh, at city clerk and city attorney and found out we were extremely behind other cities of our like size. So that's why I'm sponsoring this and uh, we've got a great two elected officials here that need to be paid equally as others. So on the motion. On the motion to adopt Ross? Yes. White? Yes. 
Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Height? Yes. On the emergency, Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Height? Yes. O twenty one oh six, Councilmember Taylor. So move. Move for adoption. Please call it. An ordinance rezoning property located at forty three hundred East Broadway in the city of North Little Rock from R three to C three zoning classification by amending ordinance number ninety two sixty three first reading. Move to suspend the reading. Second. Second. Got a motion to spend all readings on the motion. Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ken? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. Miss Robinson? You muted, Miss Robinson. I have questions regarding this particular legislation because I've gotten some phone calls and emails on this. And one of the questions that was asked was, will this destabilize the neighborhood? Are you asking from a real estate standpoint or what, what standpoint are you asking from? I guess I'm asking Sean Spencer if he's there. Sean is on his way to the microphone. Thank you. I mean, that's a very arbitrary question, so it, it's going to be a different answer from d different folks. But currently, it's well, it's an empty lot not being used, but it was an industrial use being used by Hums Hardware for storage of their outdoor rental equipment and other materials uh, with a fence around it. So it was sort of a industrial use on a on a s state highway, Highway 70 there, zoned commercial. Uh, but I think getting rid of an industrial use and making a commercial use uh, would be stabilizing the neighborhood. It'd be a better use than the industrial use. Okay, thank you Answers very much. Question. Thank you, Sean. I know that uh, I know that we're only rezoning twenty or forty feet. Otherwise, this gas station could go in, regardless of opposition, because it's zoned for that. And I understand that. And I also understand uh, someone was saying, we got two gas stations and we don't need another gas station. Oh, Burger King, McDonald's, Family Dollar, Dollar General, uh, Caesar, Caesar Pizza, Shotgun Dan, you know, all of those guys are located, you know, in our ward and they're, they're uh, good businesses and undoubtedly one has not hurt the other. But my question is, can a convenience store go in your playground? Can a convenience store do what? Uh, uh, go in to uh, the playground. There's a playground uh, within maybe 300, 400 feet of this zoning. Oh. Can a, can a, can, can a, can a convenience store go within 300 feet of a playground? The answer yeah. would be yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Any other questions? One final comment I'm going to make is right now, what we're doing is we're just dealing with the rezoning of the 20 to 40 feet. Here, alcohol sales is not the issue right now. And once the uh, thing is, once the building is complete, then they will have to apply to the Alcohol Beverage Commission for uh, a permit to sell their beer and alcohol. So, uh, and I'm just putting that out there for some of the people in Rose City that were concerned about this convenience store selling beer and alcohol. And that is not the issue right now. The issue is just the rezoning. That's correct. 
Okay. Uh, where are we, Miss Whitby? We need a motion to adopt. Yes, sir. So we got a motion by Mr. Taylor and a second by. Second. Miss Ken, on the motion. Ross. Yes. White. Yes. Taylor. Yes. Robinson. Yes. Baxter. Yes. Harris. Yes. Ken. Yes. And Hyde. Yes. On the emergency, Ross. Yes. White. Yes. Taylor. Yes. Robinson. Yes. Baxter. Yes. Harris. Yes. Ken. Yes. And Hyde. Yes. O twenty one zero seven. Council Member Baxter. Please call it. Hang on one second. Double checking myself. Um, an ordinance granting a special use to allow outdoor sales, display, food trucks, and entertainment in an I two zone for property located at seventy four twenty Counts Massey Road in the City of North Little Rock. Move to suspend the readings. Second. Second. Got a motion and a second. Spend all readings on the motion. Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ken? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. Move for adoption. Give me a second. Second. Got a motion second. and a second. I've got. Uh, the two applicants uh, online if we need to ask any questions. I have a question. Question. When it says entertainment, I'm just curious what type of entertainment. Can you answer that, Mr. Baxter? Uh, I'm going to pass that question to the uh, applicant. Sean's here. Sean, you'll give us, uh, we can ask uh, when, and Bill that, and Tammy. Huh? We had a lot of discussion at Planning Commission on that. It is more of a gentleman walking around with a guitar playing, so it's not selling tickets to it or anything it's just uh not i don't even think the guy's getting paid but the applicant's there but it's real calm calm just someone playing some music walking around you want the applicant to respond to that i'm just curious i mean are we if we leave it open entertainment then that to me is anything so would you and this would be to mr baxter too though would you Need to define entertainment on that. I mean, why don't uh, we? Inter entertainment could be a lot of things. Why don't we give Bill, you, or Tammy, or online one of y'all uh, uh, tell us what you're thinking about? Yes, I'm here. Okay, go ahead. Uh, basically, we just have a gentleman that comes out and he plays uh, his little banjo for entertainment for the customers in the mall. And uh, we may have a radio station come out and do a, a live broadcast, but other than that, there's no entertainment besides that going to be here. Okay, thank you. Is there is there a way, mm -hmm. uh, Sean? I'll ask you: Is there a way to tighten that down a little bit so they can have a band playing? That was our dis that was our discussion <laughs> was on how to do that, and it, it was real hard to do. But it, it just came down to that uh, it's only during business hours and no cover charge. So if there's no cover charge, I mean, you're not really gonna get a, a big group to come in and do something there. So it's sort of the person's doing it for free and no one, you know, no one's paying to come in. So it's not a... Is that in the legislation? Yes. Okay. You okay with that, Ms. Ross? Mayor. Yeah, Mr. Hyde. Well, can you just say maybe no amplified music a good point you could do that to include no amplified music oh, you know. mr baxter so you're telling me then that uh what about car dealerships or anything any any other venue that plays music outside good point that's all that's all a good point i agree um, I just, you know, if you're looking for looking for something to tighten it down a little bit, but yeah. maybe that's too tight. Well, if they got a radio remote there, that uh, that radio remote's going to have to use some amplification. So you're going to kick yourself so, on that one, I have a question. Mr. Baxter. So, okay. So the other thing is, we do have a uh, noise ordinance that uh, would fall under anything that would be loud. Mr. Taylor. 
So, uh, city attorney, um, why couldn't we just add another? I mean, this is this is a special use. So, I mean, we can put any kind of conditions we want on it, can't we? Um, you can. Um, and so if somebody. So, 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 so why couldn't we say that that this special use is restricted to uh, guitar music and uh, radio remotes, and that's it. If somebody wanted to amend it to, or if the council wanted to amend it to include those conditions, then then that would be up to the vote of the council. But but it's not impermissible. It's permissible. It would be up to you all. So moved. So moved. All right, Mr. Baxter, did, did you, Miss Miss Robinson? I would hate to limit uh, this vendor to just guitar music or or DJ. Well, that's that's what that's what this vendor said that he wanted to do. So I don't think we're limiting him. He, that's that's what he said he wanted to do. Well, I. Yeah. Can you live with that, uh, uh, Bill or Tammy? Yes, that would be fine. Okay. All right, well, let's, how about you, know, Miss White? Not related to this. Uh, if, you, if you want to finish that off, I just want to make sure I have a chance to say that. What'd she say? I have no say idea. Say that again, Beth. <laughs> okay. My point is raising my hand. But to remind the to remind the uh, the owners that the trucks that they have need to have a current North Little Rock business license, and they need to make sure that that's always it's always done. We don't have any. Okay. Can I? Uh, yes, Miss Whitby. So on the different types of business being operated there, those are separate business license codes. So entertainment is a separate code, so there is a fee associated with that through our office as okay. well. All right, you guys, uh, we, if we pass this, you need to come down to city clerk's office and get the necessary uh, uh, license in order to do your business. So she'll she'll coach you through it. Miss Robinson, do you have something? Well, the only thing I want to say is that this is Steve Baxter, Council Member Baxter's legislation, and uh, I just want his opinion. What you say, Steve? So my, th my thing is this. So then, I, again, I understand the entertainment business aspect of things. But you're, but if if I walk into McDonald's and start playing the banjo, is that is it because I'm not sponsored by the owner of the property that I wouldn't, I wouldn't, or they wouldn't have to be licensed for that? I, I just, don't. I don't know. I think. But, McDonald's, the, the I think we're talking about two different issues. Those, I mean, those businesses aren't asking for special uses. This business is asking for a special use. So when you ask for special or conditional use, then there there are certain restrictions that can be put on those uses. So uh, Council Member Ross has a concern with entertainment. So I'm just trying to find a way to allow uh, the uh, the owner to operate and do his business while, while satisfying Council Member Ross. With, with, with and not have not having him restricted, we can't do uh, the things that he's trying to do. So he says he wants to do a banjo and a and a and a uh, remote. So uh, the use would allow that. You know, it probably isn't a big issue because of where it's located. But um, we can go ahead and put that in. There. Yeah, Mr. Hyde. Mayor, I was going to say this is a, we're a, we're talking about a business in an industrial I, an I two zone that's surrounded. Looks to me like it's. Either industrial or commercial, totally surrounding it. There's no, no residential, no uh, multifamily dwellings anywhere close. And so, I, you know, I don't, I don't have a problem with just leaving it like it is. Me either. What do you want to do, Steve? I, I make the motion we adopt it as, as it's written. Thank you. Okay. Well, point of order. You, are, you, are, you already have a motion on the floor for an amendment. So, okay. Do we have a hey. second? Okay. What, what, it, what is your motion, um, Mr. Taylor, to add a condition that entertainment be limited to? Guitar and rem radio remotes. Guitar and radio remotes. Uh, let, me, let me just say this. It, that, was just, that was just a suggestion. It doesn't matter to me what, what the man does. If, we, if he wants to do entertainment, I was just trying to simply 
clear up the matter of if it's a, if it's a special use or it's a conditional use, we can put those items on there because of the use. Right. So if, if it's the will of the council that they don't want to do that, then we don't have to do it. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. All right. So you, you've made an amendment. Is there a second? Is there a second? All right. It dies for lack of a second. So we'll go back to Mr. Height's motion to adopt this as is. Mr. Baxter did the second. Any more discussion? Councilmember Ross. Ms. Robinson. I entertainment. I, I, I think that entertainment is fine, except if it was uh, adult entertainment. Oh, but otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. If it does, we'll shut them down. All right, we got a motion in a second. Back to Miss Back to Miss Ross's point. Back to her point. When you say when you leave it wide open for entertainment, that means you can do anything. Anything that's that's, that's considered entertainment. So that, if it, if if that's adult entertainment, and we we leave it out there, then that can be done. Well, we have laws against adult <laughs> entertainment, so. We're covered there. I just want to say something. Yep. Go ahead, Ms. Ross. Now, I didn't know that we were had this much discussion on that, but you know, my question was, you know, entertainment. It, that could be anything. Is it going to be a concert, or they're going to have, you know, what are you going to have out there? So, I guess that's what I, I was looking at. So, I mean, could you? They have said that this is just someone that they've got playing. This is they're not going to charge or anything. So, I mean, it says it in the legislation that they can't charge. So. They can't charge for the entertainment. So. Yep. I, that was just a question. It's a food truck. It's a food truck. It's a food truck. All right, I got it. Food truck. All right, I think we've discussed this enough. We got a motion and a second. On the motion. On the motion to adopt Ross. Yes. White. Yes. Taylor. Did you say yes. Okay. Yeah. Robinson. I have to, but I. Yeah. Yes. Baxter. Yes. Harris. Yes. Yeah. In. Yes. And height. Yes. Yeah. On the emergency, Ross. Yes. White. Yes. Yeah. Taylor. Yes. Yeah. Robinson. Yes. Yeah. Baxter. Yes. Yeah. Harris. Yes. Yeah. In. Yes. Yeah. And height. Yes. Yeah. And Mara, just just need to remind them they are adding thirty outdoor cell spaces, so that is additional. To their indoor spaces so we will and councilmember baxter and i've talked about this so they they will need to come in to do that and we do appreciate that they will help work with us on food trucks because some of the property owners maybe will let them come without a permit so yeah if they work with us on that that would be great absolutely bill and you and tammy i hope you understood that and, and call uh, the clerk's office for uh, more definition uh y'all excuse me just for a minute i, th I think on that 106 uh, Tristan Phillips was online and I overlooked Tristan um, Mr. Taylor is that your applicant or was that a, do you know it is the applicant okay Tristan okay all right so Tristan's off there okay good deal all right uh, let's go to uh, 108 108 uh, sponsors are Robinson and Taylor we've got it an ordinance granting a conditional use to allow a parking lot in a C6 zone for property located at 825 Maple Street in the city of North Little Rock. First reading. Move to spend the reading. Got a motion to spend the readings and a second by Ms. Robinson. On the motion. Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ken? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. Got a motion to adopt. So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second. On the motion. Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ken? Yes. And Height? Yes. On the emergency, Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ken? Yes. 
and height. Yes. Concludes all business. Thank you very much. I would like to, uh, several things to talk about. Number one is uh, remind everybody that we have election uh, coming up. Early voting starts tomorrow uh, and Wednesday and Monday. Uh, the actual runoff election is on December the 1st, so I encourage you to exercise your rights uh, as a citizen and vote. I would like to wish everybody a uh, happy Thanksgiving and to be safe uh, during this holiday. And as hard as it is, practice um, the pandemic protocol uh, while you're with your families um, and so we can all come out of this Thanksgiving healthy. Anybody else got a comment, thoughts? Ms. Robinson. Uh, Council Member Taylor and I um, represent Ward 2 and there are many neighborhoods in our ward that have challenges and I had an opportunity to ride around with code so a lot of the complaints on Facebook regarding some of the properties in Rose City, Code is very much aware of it. But we have to work through the process. We cannot get ahead of the process. Some owners may live out of state. Some may live in another city. But we have to work through the process. And Mayor, you're good at if someone calls you regarding something in our ward or in here, you're good about letting us know good about letting us know the response and for that you know we appreciate that now there's a lot of misinformation being circulated in ward two but now as a council member we work together and we assist each other ward two does not take lead in ward one ward three or ward four because the voters in those wards voted for you all in that position but we're willing to assist and to work with y'all. Now, Ms. Ben, you represent Ward 4. You've muted yourself. Muted. You muted yourself. You muted. Okay. Uh, like, Ms. Ginn works in, uh, she represents Ward 4. And so she can take some of her allocated resources and give it to us in Ward 2. But I'm sure Charlie won't go along with it. However, my point tonight is, let's get represent Ward 4 and let us represent Ward 2. Assist us and uh, work with us. And we appreciate that. Thank you very much. Any other comments? How about a motion to, to so adjourn? So move. In a second. Second. Got a second. On the motion. Ross? Yes. White? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ben? Yes. And Height? Yes. Thank you all. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. To you. Mm.